this is Kayala over at Feathered Friends, and today we are going to talk about how to take care of your down items. Taking care of down products can be scary, but with the right information, you'll have a down product that will keep you warm for decades. Down seems like such a delicate item, which can lead people to think taking care of your down products needs to be super complicated. But not to worry, it's actually super easy and healthy to give your down a good wash. Over time, as down jackets and bags get used, dirt and body oils build up on the outside and eventually make their way into the down itself, causing the down plumes to clump up, not loft up as well, reducing all of that potential warmth. Before you wash your down products, you wanna make sure that there aren't any major stains or holes. We can easily patch holes with tenacious tape, but keep in mind that the tape takes up to 24 hours to set, so keep that timing in mind. To take care of stains, all you'll wanna do is apply a bit of down soap and water to the stained area and let sit up to an hour. Washing your down products is something you can do at home or at a laundromat, but the one place we would not suggest washing your down is at the dry cleaners. The dry cleaning process can break down the natural oils that the down needs to maintain its loft and not clump up. So stay away from that process unless the manufacturer specifically says that it's okay for their items. Next, it's time to check your washing machine. Make sure you're using a front loading washer instead of a top down. This is mostly to ensure that there is no agitator bar that will tear down products when they're wet. The second thing to check is to make sure that your dryer is big enough to let the item tumble while it's drying. If it's not big enough, it won't actually tumble while it's drying and will take longer. It will also be at risk for burning the fabric if the face fabric is sitting in the same spot where the dryer is laying out hot air for hours. The best way to check this is to put your down item in the dryer before you wash it and make sure that there's a couple inches of space between your down item and the top of the dryer. Once your down gear is ready to wash, you'll need a front loading washer, a dryer, and some down wash. All right, let's get started on the washing process. Here I've got some down cleaner. Down wash is the perfect soap for washing down items because it removes dirt and body oils while still keeping the natural oils and the integrity of the down. We'll want to use the exact amount that they recommend on the bottle. For us here, it's two capfuls, which is about an ounce. One tip while washing down products is that the face fabric is usually more water resistant than the inner fabric, which is more breathable. So the jacket will get a better wash if it's turned inside out. We we'll want to set it on a warm temperature if possible, but if not, cold is preferred to hot. All right, now we wait until it's finished. Once we've put the jacket through one cycle, we'll want to make sure that all the soap sets are off, so we'll put it in for one more cycle without any soap. All right, now that we've got a soaking wet jacket, it's time to dry it. One of the biggest things to remember here is to be very careful when pulling the wet jacket from the wash. When down is wet, it's extremely heavy and can tear at the seams of your jacket. Grab it from the bottom instead of gripping the top so that nothing tears. Once it's in the dryer, we'll add some sort of agitator to fluff up the down during the drying process. Most people use tennis balls or dryer balls for this. The only thing to think about with this is that if the item you're drying has Velcro on it at all, you will want to steer clear of tennis balls so that they don't snag on the Velcro. A simple dryer ball will work if a tennis ball doesn't work with your jacket or bag. All right, we've made it this far. But the important thing to remember is that this process requires the most time and also the most patience. That said, luckily it is the least complicated. All you'll need to do here is put your down product in the dryer and set it to medium if you have that setting or low if you don't have a medium setting. Your down product will have to go through multiple cycles in the dryer as it takes a long time for it to truly be dry 
and we want to make sure that mold has no chance of growing on our beloved down items. Through each cycle, you want to pull your jacket or bag and massage out any down clumps that may be forming. As the jacket dries, feel free to add on another layer of DWR or durable water repellent to the jacket. This will add another layer of water resistancy and improve the performance of your jacket. Putting the jacket in the dryer on medium heat will re-up the DWR regardless of whether you add more or not. So don't worry if you don't have any DWR laying around your house. We always recommend the spray-on type of DWR as the wash in kind can get on the down plumes themselves, causing them to clump and deteriorate faster. Once the jacket appears dry, put it through one more cycle, one more time, just to ensure that it's completely dry. Oftentimes, we'll think a jacket is dry, we'll take it out, we'll wear it for a bit, and we'll find that the down is clumping more than usual, or we'll see spots in the baffles where there is no down. This just means it needs another go in the dryer. So don't freak out if you see this. All right, that's it. Clean and warm down is a wash away. Thanks for watching.